Hey everybody out there, this is Chris Nicholson, and right now I'm sitting in front of my Williams Symphony Grand. This is such a really, really good piano. Uh, one thing about it is that it has 192 instruments, and it has 128 note polyphony, and there's many things that you can do with this piano. It's very compact, and it's really good to take out on gigs. So, here's the It's just incredible. It doesn't even run out of notes, which is really good. Um, but what I wanted to show you is how easy it is to hook up your iPad to this Williams Symphony Grand. Well, first, you need an iPad. It can hook up. This is an iPad Pro. This is a 90, I'm uh, sorry, a 12.9 uh, inch right here. And um, iPad Pro Touch, which is really cool. All I have to do is touch it. Um, you have to download synthesizer apps. Um, it could be synthesizer digital piano apps right here. And I hope you guys can see it on the screen, which is really cool. So I got all my different apps, all my di different DAWs right here, which is pretty cool. And your iPad can actually be your full music studio, which is unbelievable. There's a lot of musicians that um, now they're just switching to controllers and just using an iPad. So mostly on stage, that's what I've been doing too, is like, I can use this keyboard, I can use a Casio, I can use a Korg, and if there's a certain synthesizer that I want, all I have to do is basically just switch on my iPad, but that's not, that's not all. You're gonna need something else. You're gonna need, if you're doing USB, you're gonna need a camera connection kit, which looks like this, it has a USB right here, and this has the rig, this has the old standard um, plug that's on there. But what I did is I get another connection which takes the old plug to the new, um, new wire, I forgot what they call it. And I stick in a USB, so just a regular USB cable. Gets hooked into here. And I wrap this right around the music stand. Make sure your iPad is actually charged and um, then you won't have any problems. Then you stick this straight into the USB port, just like that. And that's how simple it is on here. Um, this has Bluetooth MIDI and it has Bluetooth audio. So what I'm gonna be using right now is basically um, the USB MIDI, but I'm using the Bluetooth audio to save power on my, um, on my machines, basically, on the, on the piano and the iPad. So, what I do is, if I want an iGrand piano, I put that on. Oh, most important, make sure that your, make sure that your Williams is on local mode. So to, to get there, you just go to main setting three, function main setting three, and then page down until you hit local and turn it off. So now you're going to be hearing the sound of the iPad. which is good, so I'm sorry about that. iGrand Piano, you have your own selection of grands, you have your selection of uprights, so here's an upright piano. It's, it's, it comes in 
handy. What if you wanted a piano with tacks on here? So let's see, the piano with tacks, so here's real tack piano. And... on here that is really cool that I just downloaded. Here's one app that I'm going to show you. It's called Beathawk. And not only that you can play piano, but you can play all different kinds of instruments. You can have actually the instruments. Let me show you. You can have all the instruments. <laughs> right on the street. Or you can just have different packs on here. I put this to pitch. And I don't know if you can see that, so I'm just going to put this right over here, real good. And these are all your factory patches right here. So if I wanted a good choir sound, I go to vocals, and let's pick a children's choir. So children's Oz. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to load it. His two children's ooze. Now you can download it if you wanted the piano again. Here's a stereo grand piano. This is a Steinway, Steinway grand. So this is the full Steinway grand right here. I'm oh, sorry. Keep on forgetting to load it. Project. There we go. It's, it's a new project, and it's the piano again. So this is. That's more like it. I wanted a nice rock piano. No latency. No latency whatsoever, which is pretty cool. Um, I have one over here called Brass Riffs, which is pretty cool. So this, these are just little... right here so I could trigger a sample of a drum loop. Let's see if I can give you something that's really good. I don't know what this one is right here, but let's try it out. Which is really cool. So you get different kinds of drum loops. Guitar, blues guitars right over here. Ah, here we go. And if I wanted the electric. vinyl, so if you want different scratches, here's a scratch menu right over here. Which is really neat. Alright, so these are all different kinds of app. What if you wanted a Hammond B3, which is really cool. And let me see if I can find it on here. Here you go. The Galileo organ, that's it, that's, um, to me, it's, I think, for an iPad, this is one of the best. I just wish I had the volume pedal. Speakers 
are not even blowing up, so that's a good thing. <laughs> okay, so that's a Galileo right there, which is pretty cool. If I wanted a Korg M1, got it right here. So I could pick whatever voice that I want from the Korg M1. So if I want to say, for instance, the, the universal sound, that, which is already on there, um, Really cool. It has a whole bunch of stuff on here. One of my favorite sounds that is on the M1 is basically the toy piano sound, which is, um, let's see if I can find it. <laughs> I have it on here. I think it's 62. 60, yeah, here it is, 65. And, uh, and also I like the one world, which is coming from my T2 and my T3. pretty cool. Roland has their app which is a sound canvas and with the sound canvas you have over like a thousand instruments on here probably over a thousand instruments. Um, of course you have piano but what I wanted to show you is say for instance if I go to the ensemble there is a very awesome jazz scats. <laughs> There's one on here. I love choir sounds, so you're gonna hear a lot of choir sounds on here that are really cool. Uh, Laws. <laughs> right here. Sample Tank is by IK Multimedia and I downloaded all the expansions on here. I, just like just like Beat Hulk, all the expansions I downloaded. And one of my favorite um, sounds that is on here is the Busendorfer, the Imperial, which is the Busendorfer 9 foot right here. And it turns this into a Busendorfer, which is... <laughs> different other pianos, the same thing that's on iGrand, which is awesome. Um, one thing that I love around here too is the acoustic guitar app. And the reason for that is like, say for instance, you get to hear every single nuance. So I'm going to turn off all the nuances right here, the noise. I don't have on here. Um, that is that is just sick. That is just sick. 
there's a lot of, there's a lot of instruments that you can do. I just downloaded this one, Nave. What a sound that comes out of here. I am Nave and I do sing. 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 And you have tons and tons and tons of stuff on here. That's that little fluttering effect on there. Let's see what Jupiter is. <laughs> That's really cool. You have tons of synthesizer apps. There's one piano app that I need to show you, so I'm going to bring the camera closer so you can actually see it. This one here called Grand Piano. And of course it's going to say um, that my session's expired. But what I can do is zoom up to it. Let's do this a little bit better. There you go. Zoom up to it and then bring it down just a little bit like that. And I'm going to take off the music desk. Let's see. Show music desk. Take that off and take off the color of the keys. Bring this up. And I don't know if you can see this right here, but let me bring it closer to you guys. Move the piano just a little bit. And what is pretty cool is that what I like about it, oops, hold on, let me see if I get it, is when I press a key on the piano, you can actually see the insides moving, just like the hammers and, not, not just the key, but the hammers and the dampers. That's really good. Only thing that I like about it is that the touch on the um, on the app, and this is the app that you're hearing. You're not hearing this piano. I have to get used to it. Say for instance, let's let's change camera modes on here. So I go to camera, and I go to um, orbit. What the orbit does is that I can I can actually zoom in a little bit to the action. So like say for instance, right over here, you zoom out just a little bit. Ah, there we go, right there. So you get to see. And let's remove all this stuff. And when I press a key. If you look at the high notes right over here, if you look at the um, the higher register, let's see if I can get this real good. And it's hard to see it, but over here there's the hammers. And so when I'm pressing, you can actually see the hammers. And they, not just the dampers, but you can actually see the hammers lift up on it. So that's what I like about it. If I wanted just like a nice, nice view right here, I wish there was a way to like a pan this a little bit better. So I'm gonna have to back it up just a little bit and do it like that. And this is supposed to be a Steinway concert grand. They're they're revealing their new piano soon. So I don't know what that piano is gonna be, but. You do 
even the pedals. So if I turn around, here's a pedal right here. It goes up and down as I'm pressing the pedal. And to me, I think this is a very, very good app. If you want to watch yourself actually play the piano, which is pretty cool. Let's make, make that a little bit better. There you go. There's a way that I can actually, let's see, put this right there. So you can actually see the pedals moving. Let's pan this down just a little bit so you can see the action just a little bit. So you can see the pedals and the action. Now, for some reason, it doesn't do the other pedals. I don't know why. I mean, it, it re responds to the sustenuto, but it doesn't show the other two pedals going down, only the sustain. So I'm going to write to the company and say, look, what about the other pedals? That's basically what I wanted to show you guys. Um, so this is this is how to hook up the iPad to your Williams piano, and I just wanted to show you my new apps, which is really cool. And thank you so much for watching my videos. Please do me a favor, click like, subscribe, follow me on everything, and go to my website www.chrisnicholson.com. Bye everybody. Have a good night. Bye. Mwah.